For 77 years, teenage super sleuth Nancy Drew has been a big favorite of young readers. I read her when I was a kid. She's been featured in 56 mystery books and in movies and in TV. And starting tomorrow, teen star Emma Roberts will be on the case, starring in the new movie, Nancy Drew. Um, excuse me, I have to defuse this bomb. <laughs> no kidding. Love is a battlefield. Roberts, good morning. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it's great to see you again. Good to see you great too. to have you back. The movie is adorable. Thank you so much. Aren't you happy with it? I, I really it. am, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird to watch myself, but I mean, I think it turned out really well. Especially in slow motion. Yeah, right the slow motion scene. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I saw that with all my friends at the premiere and I was like, oh, no way. Right. It is kind of funny though. Yeah, it, it is. And the movie's great. I, my daughters loved it. I mean, how did this idea come up? Because you were in a meeting with a bunch of studio executives, right? Yeah, I mean, we were just like talking about movies that they were, you know, had coming up. and. Uh, they said Nancy Drew, and I just thought that was such a cool idea, you know, because I, I never read the books when I was younger, but I knew who she was. I mean, she's such an iconic character. So, um, you know, I read the script, and I just, I loved it. I loved the character. I loved the whole story idea of, like, old Hollywood movie star murder mystery thing. So, it was awesome. Nancy Drew has never solved a murder mystery before. Yeah. But as you mentioned, this is sort of a decades-old mystery, mm -hmm. an old star on the big screen. What do you like about old Hollywood? Because it's had a great it's just, old it, Hollywood It is feel. so mysterious, you know, and... and um, I don't know, it's just so much more glamorous and everything, and there's, I don't know, I think just everyone loves the whole idea of like, oh, way back when in Hollywood, you know what I mean? So it was such a cool uh, thing to bring Nancy Drew and Hollywood together and see how, you know, it played out. Do you think that there were some lessons too? Because a lot of it dealt with sort of fitting in with your peers because Nancy is a, a really, really smart, but she's considered a little bit nerdy in yeah. her school. Yeah, I mean, she's, but I th she's okay with that and like she's really genuine and nice and I think it's really great that like all the mysteries she did in the books and in this movie like start with trying to help people. And so um, I think also in the movie she's really independent and like sure of herself. So I, th I think that young girls can take that away from the movie. Are you a naturally inquisitive person? Like yeah. she is? I mean, yeah, we're, we're both like very curious and like to ask questions and stuff. Um, so I could relate to her a lot like in that way. I know that you like being a role model for young girls. A lot of girls look up to you. Who do you look up to? Who are your role models? Um, I mean, I I, I look up to a lot of people, but I mean, like, actress-wise, I guess, people whose careers I like. I really like, um, like, Reese Witherspoon and Drew Barrymore. Um, I love all the movies they've done, and they've been acting since they were younger, so. You've gotten to do a lot of cool things lately. Um, one of them is to promote summer reading. Uh, you got to be with First Lady Laura Bush. What was that I like? I did. It was really, really fun. I was in Washington, D.C., and we went to um, an all-girls middle school, and, uh, we read a, a couple chapters from a Nancy Drew book and just mm -hmm. talked about reading and how important it is because, you know, reading is really important to me, at least. I love to read and kids now seem like they don't love reading as much and it's like disappointing because when you find a book with a really good story, I mean, it's so much fun, I think. Mm -hmm. Was that nice to be with the first lady? She's, it was she's really great, fun. She was she? so sweet and mm -hmm. so nice and um, it, it, we had so much fun together. Now, something that would be very high on the cool meter, I know, in my house, is you were on the cover of Teen Magazine with Zac Efron. <laughs> Huge heartthrob from High School Musical. What was yeah, that like? It was so much fun. I mean, he's such a cool guy. And yeah, we did that together, and it was so much fun. Um, you know, he, I had met him a couple times before, and he's, he's a really nice guy. And I'm so excited for her hairspray. It looks so good. Right, he's going to play Link Larkin in yeah. hairspray. And everyone wants to know, is he really dating Vanessa Ann Hutchins? What's going on? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. All right, tell me about Unfabulous. When is it coming back? Give us a little sneak yeah. peek <laughs> at what's happening. We finished the third season, and uh -huh. it's sadly, it's the, it's the final season, and it's going to uh -oh. air in September. Right. But um, I, I, honest, I think this is our best season. I mean, it's, it's really funny. All of us really had just had, like, a good time. And, you know, it was the last season, so we all really did, like, like the best job that we could and had so much I know you guys will miss each other. And tell us really quick, how is your Aunt Julia doing? Because she's nine months pregnant, I know. Right? She's, How's she's she doing, feeling? She's doing really well. Um, I haven't talked to her in a couple uh, weeks because we've been like on different coasts. But right. um, I hear she's doing great and the twins are very well. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's always great to see you, good Emma to see Roberts. You too. Good luck. Thank you and the so movie's much. adorable. Thank so. you.